Back to the Ed Show. There was some campaign news today. This time the Romney campaign put out a lie so big, the media almost universally called it out. A Romney ad running in Ohio says this. Obama took GM and Chrysler into bankruptcy and sold Chrysler to Italians who are going to build Jeeps in China. The ad doubles down on a lie Romney said himself on the stump last week. Chrysler, which still manufactures Jeep, also responded. Jeep has no intention of shifting production of its Jeep models out of North America to China. Former President Bill Clinton is also on the case. Here's the former president in Youngstown, Ohio today. Now it turns out that Jeep is reopening in China because they've made so much money here, they can afford to do it, and they are going on with their plans here. They put out a statement today saying it was the biggest load of bull in the world that they would ever consider shutting down their American operations. They are roaring in America. President Obama also relayed a personal message through President Clinton. This morning, before he left Florida and went back to Washington, he said, you know, of all the things Governor Romney has said, that probably hurts my feelings the most. <laughs> he said, you know, I never had any money when I was a kid. And the first new car I ever owned, I was 30 years old, and it was a Jeep. I would never move Jeep to China. This didn't stop the Romney campaign from putting out surrogates defending the ad. Here's Congressman Jason Shavitz of Utah. It's 100% uh, correct and accurate. Uh, the, the Romney campaign stands uh, behind it. Ooh, you're going to regret that. In his own ad, the Obama campaign calls the Romney ad a lie. After Romney's false claim of Jeep outsourcing to China, Chrysler itself has refuted Romney's lie. And I am joined tonight by former Ohio Governor Ted Strickland, who is an Obama 2012 campaign co-chair.